Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it costs. Amen. Sometimes. Amen. When you have an unexpected flood. Have I got a witness here? I'm talking about the power of divine oneness. I'm going somewhere. Y'all stay with me. So we find ourselves in Genesis 11 and 1 here where, where all these people have, have, have been settled in the earth from. And the Bible lets us know, verse 1, that the whole earth. Somebody say, oh. Whole. There was once a time when the earth was whole. Not was it uh, entire. Amen. But it wasn't half baked. Today, the, the world as we see it is half baked. Yeah. A lot of people say they love God and they say they love this and they love Yeshua and they love Jesus and they love Jehovah. But the reality of it is all that most people love themselves more than they love God. Oh, yeah. I'll prove it to you. Most people spend time beautifying themselves more than beautifying their worship. Most people yeah. spend more time investing yeah. in their own ideas and their own personal gratification than they're pouring out for someone else. Yeah, that's it. That's Come it. on. We find the word of God that, uh, that lets us know that the whole earth is in one place. And watch this. They, they, they were with one language. Somebody said one language. One language. Mm. language is very important. Language is very important. Let me tell you something. When language comes to the scene, language deals with what you are, well, what you are articulating and, and how that's going from one person to another person. Today we live in a day and time when language is very important, but we have to understand and break this thing down. Hmm. They had one language. When someone speaks a different language and you don't quite know that language, what do you say? You say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, Y'all with me. Uh, Proverbs 4 and 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all my getting, get what? Understanding. understanding. Thank you, Lord. D this is where I'm going with this. There's a lot of people who are speaking something. But it's not the same language as you see. My God. As believers of the word of God, as yeah. kingdom power movers, come on, as, as, as foundation shakers, hallelujah, in the yeah. spiritual realm, that manifest in the physical, I'm talking about the folk, you know, that walk in the room and we change the atmosphere because the presence of the Lord is on us. I want you to understand that it's important that we realize, amen, that we, we need to speak the same language. Yeah. We can't fellowship if we ain't fellows in the same ship. Yeah. We because everybody go to church and everybody put their name on the road. No, you fellowship and when you surrender all that there's a surrender in your spirit. And you give everything to the Lord and say, I know I'm jacked up. I know I'm torn from the floor. God, but I know you're sharp. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. the power of divine oneness. Divine oneness. Yes. How can we do anything unless we understand this? No. The power of divine oneness. oneness. We see in verse 6 here, we see in verse 6, hallelujah, the Bible lets us know that God said himself, he said, the people are one. The scripture says these exact words, and the Lord said, behold, the people is one. Somebody say, is one. Is one. And that can be seen by, by some grammatically correct people as wrong grammar. How can you say, is one? See, when you become one, look at your neighbor and say, Divine oneness, Divine oneness, you may not understand all the time, yeah, but it is what it is. is, what it is. <laughs> ah, the people is one. It, it is what it is. You, you can't debate it. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's taking it or leave it. I mean, it's nothing to debate about. Because when you debate, you know, the Lord is really anointing me with these words. He's giving me to come really that smart. I'm just Holy Ghost intelligent. I, I tell everybody that. When you debate, so you ain't got time to be debating, you know what I'm saying? Because when you debate, watch this. The Lord said he will make us fishes of what? Men. Men. Watch this. In order to fish, you need bait. But if you debate, you take the bait off the hook. Come on, come on. Is that airport here? Somebody might need to go to the airport. Come on. When you debate, watch this, you take away from the bait to catch the fish. See, there's a problem when we don't have oneness in the body. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. It's important that we don't just go to church. We need to grow the church. Yeah. Showing up and saying, I'm here for me, you know, let me get perfect attendance. That ain't got nothing to do with your relationship with the Father. Yeah. Yeah. See, the real thing is when you leave from the sanctuary, huh? And, and see, the real church needs to be walking 